Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and uh, Capricorn Rising. Weekly Tower reading, November 4th to November 10th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the, uh, the tarot cards, and we can jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of your week Capricorn, that is going to be the Ten of Pentacles, followed by the challenge uh, which stands as the Empress card, and then we do have the positive aspect of your week, that is going to be the Knight of Swords, and the last one which is the guidance that Tarot is offering, uh, this is to be uh, the uh, Hermit card. Very interesting um, alignment of the cards here. Oh my. So, um, Ten of Pentacles is going to be accompanied with uh, the Eight of Pentacles. So we do have in a passive supporters. Well, that, that is a lot, to, uh, a lot to interpret. I mean, a lot to translate in this particular, uh, in this particular narrative. So what it looks like here it is that for, for let's start with the simple things. So for first the week it is going to be very consolidated for you. What I mean is that it's highly unlikely that you are to experience any tantrums career wise or relationship wise as well. Uh, and uh, by your performance, by doing your performance career or relationship wise, you are going to start boosting up your personal independence. What I mean here it is that you are going to start depending more and more on yourself <clears throat> and therefore feeling that you do have a stronger grip upon your life, okay? Grip upon your relationship life, grip upon your career life as well. Uh, important thing as well to be said is that uh, whatever investments you are planning to do throughout the week, and under investments, I don't mean only money, it could be emotional investments, okay? It could be time investments and so on and so forth. Um, those investments are going to bear fruits for a reason being it is that uh, you are, before you actually invest, uh, you are going to make your homework. Uh, you are going to attend to those um, really kind of minor details and work them out as best as you can to 100% maximum. And from there, making your solid plan, that plan can be initiated moving forward. As a matter of fact, when I said plan, these two cards are very productive for you to uh, start manifesting a, a plan that took a long time to develop. So 
let's say that you had an idea to make a business at the start of this year, maybe that is the week where you can finally start initiating your business. Same thing goes for your relationship. But it's very important throughout this uh, week that you kind of start uh, socializing with other people or at least try to uh, attract a, a additional um, connections into your environment. So whenever you have a chance to get to know with someone, this is your thing. You have to do it because you don't know how is how productive that thing is going to be moving on forward into the future. And lastly, those two cards here may point that there will be a return of a person in your life. Someone that's betrayed your trust, I would say. Okay, someone that's uh, yeah, it's it's betrayed your trust, and I will try to make it up for you. And it looks like with these two cards that you have to put that person into a, a test instead of allowing them to infiltrate your life once again. And uh, the next card that we do have, it is the challenge that you need to face. That is going to be the Empress and it is accompanied with the uh, Six of Cups. So that is quite of a challenge for you to overcome. Now, we do have a, a passive friends in this particular uh, position and it stands as this, that um, whatever is happening for you throughout the week, especially if we're talking about a person that comes back into your life, you will want to invite them, you will want to embrace them and that is not going to be the wisest move that you can do. As I said, you have to put this person into a test. So the biggest challenge for you Capricorns throughout this week, it is to stop yourself before you do anything stupid, okay? Instead of allowing your emotions to dictate your rules, you have to attend to the matter in a very mature fashion. And mature fashion completely excludes well, it not completely excludes emotions, but it's more like a, a balance in between emotions and logic as well, or rather like um, emotional and mental state into one's um, in, uh, into one's being. I would uh, I would say uh, why uh, because the concept of how that thing okay so that person comes in you embrace them and what happens next nobody knows okay and that that is a, a big big problem you need to have a concept you need to have a plan and until you don't have that concept you need until you don't have that plan you should not embrace anybody that is trying to come back into your life and not to mention that before you actually start making this concept and this plan that person needs to prove that they have changed they are now worthy for your trust. It could go either way, okay? They may prove themselves, they may not prove themselves, but in either way, you need to make your decision should you embrace them or not in a, a mature fashion. That is especially, you know, if you do already have a business, that could be someone that comes to you, uh, that betrayed you back in the days when you tried to make business together. Now they comes to you, but you already have a business with someone else, all right? And instead of embracing this one, ruining your current business, you know, you need to ask them to prove themselves to you uh, for a relationship, not to mention for a relationship that may uh, form a third party triangle and so on and so forth so be very mindful how you uh, how you are to decide to proceed with your investments because your investments are going to have a interest the return and interest and if you invest in a bad way obviously the return and the interest are going to be a bad return and bad interest and vice versa of course so positive wise, we do have uh, the Knight of Swords accompanied with the Devil card. So we do have any active enemies. And that is a very pretty straightforward. That is a person who is trying to completely destroy the urge that you are feeling and trying to breed sense into your mind. Okay, that is someone that it is feeding up your resilience and it's helping you to resist the temptation to embrace the past once again without actually testing of the past and uh, <clears throat> very uh, logically oriented someone who does have very strong angels that is a thing that we do have into our um, 
uh, into our country. A person who cannot resist temptation, uh, temptation, we are saying that that person has a weak angels. Well, this one have a, a very, very strong angels, uh, usually very courageous type of guy. Uh, and especially with the devil card, this, uh, this guy uh, or this woman, because it could be a woman as well, they always kind of scale the pros and cons. They do not allow, you know, these primal instincts to uh, to rule their nature and for that reason it looks like that they always take a, a logically correct decision a mature decision your decision so deliberations with this guy or woman i do believe that is going to be a very very good friend of yours all right will actually allow you to uh forewarn yourself if you will and ultimately, at the end of the day, take the most mature and uh, logical approach toward the situation, how to or where to invest your money, where to invest your time, where to invest your efforts, where to invest your love, where to invest your passion, because it's all about investment, okay? And wherever you invest your thing, it is from where you're going to get something in return, either good or bad and the last card here it is the guidance that tarot is offering to you we do have the hermits and it is accompanied with the seven of pentacles and i don't know how you're gonna take this one because um, these two cards are pointing that you are not focusing on what is substantial for you okay you are still not convinced that uh you are doing about you are doing the right thing i don't know how to explain it just to give you an example uh here if we're talking about those businesses and this person comes around what is the substantial thing the stable business that you do have right now or a celluloid business that you can have moving forward into the future. Of course, this is very variable in regards to your current uh, situation. Maybe you do need something new, okay? And then that will be the substantial thing to embrace that person. But again, very, very, uh, it variates for your, in regards to your situation. But these two cards here, Capricorn, <coughs> as a guidance, a, uh, they're, um, not just only screaming, they are ululating to you to take your time and approach the matter in a very wise and intelligent manner. Um, because uh, it looks like that as much as you can win everything, you can deprive yourself from everything as well. And uh, if you are baffled what kind of decision to make, if you do postpone your decision making, the right choice is going to become obvious for you. You are going to see what is substantial there. And at that point, no hesitation is acceptable to take on the direction that this um, postponing state is revealing to you, even if there is no one there to applaud you. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly tarot reading, November 4th to November 10th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then... Bye.